um, today I'm going to be doing a sort of reviewy thing for hair products. I'm going to be reviewing the Tangle Teaser and this Eliza Bella Hair Designs hair slide thingy to fur. Yeah. Um, I got this on Etsy and I got this at Sally. I've been thinking about getting a Tangle Teaser for about a million years and my mom just randomly found this shop online. So yeah. I decided to review both things so let's okay let's start with the tangle teaser and I have to say this is the best thing I have ever gotten for my hair ever this is freaking amazing I don't know why I put off getting one of these for so long I mean I've seen it every time we go by Sally and I'm like oh my gosh get it but I've always feared because um if you see the bristle space here is not it's pretty wide for me because I have very thin hair this is normally what I'm using a really thin comb and the bristle spacing is a lot less but this tangle teaser is freaking amazing so I have had this thing for about a week now I think and I've used it pretty much for every situation I could possibly think of with my hair. So I've used it when it was wet, when it's dry, um, when I heatlessly curl it and for brushing it out and brushing it out to put it in the curls. It has worked wonderfully for all of those things. The only thing that I can't do is part your hair because obviously it's more of a brush than it is a comb, but it's freaking awesome. Get one of these. Um, I held back for a long time just because I was like, oh, it's not gonna work on my thin hair, yeah. It works on my thin hair because I can run it through very easily. There's not, there's no pulling, there's no dragging. And while it's not as thin as a comb, it still gets through all of the knots. So running through the thinner part of the comb, there aren't any remnant items. So it's all awesome and easy to use. So yeah, that is my review on the Tangle Teaser. 100% yes, get it. Please, I recommend for all people. Um, this has been like a big thing in the long hair community for ages. Um, it's not new news. The only thing I would say about the Tangle Teaser is it's built for righties, so it's like ergonomically built. I am right handed, but I think if you're left handed it kind of sucks because you can't... What even is this? Also, um, I'm pretty short. I'm about 5'1", which is slightly over... Um, which is slightly over however many centimeters that is. Um, anyway, uh, basically that means that my hands are comparatively pretty small with a tang tingle teaser. So I heard about mini ones and I think it'd be cool to maybe get one of those because it might be easier to hold just because sometimes it falls out of my hand while I'm brushing through because I don't have much of a grip. But otherwise, it's super duper awesome. So yes, my recommendation is to really get it. It's awesome, yeah. Tangle teaser. Okay, so the second thing that I would, um, that I am reviewing, recommending, whatever, is this hair slide from Eliza Bella Hair Designs. I got the largest size that she has, and there's a bunch of different, like, shapes. I just chose this one because I thought it looked cool. Um, but then it also comes with this, like, hair, it's not a hair fork because it's not split on the end, but it does work as a hair stick sort of item. I believe it's made out of brass. This is like the shiny brass option and it does tarnish. So if you live in a super humid area, I would advise getting a tarnishing cloth and or having a tarnishing cloth if you plan on getting this object because it tarnishes. And apparently it tarnishes a lot more if you use hair product. I don't really. I mean, I wash my hair and that's about the extent of my hair product usage. So if you do use that, just be mindful. She also puts this all in this like wonderful sheet of paper that I can show you. Okay, so here is the sheet that I got. Um, it comes in a little box about the size of this sheet. Um, it's all stacked on top of each other. It also comes with like a little jewelry cleaning side so it doesn't completely leave you in the dust. Um, on here it lists adjustment instructions. So basically you can take this slide and you can gently push it to make it either um, more curved or pull it out a little bit less to make it less curved and there's a whole spiel on the how to adjust it and what to adjust for inside of her instructions. Um, below that, we have there are some general care tips, including the fact that you should you know watch out for tarnish and how to prevent tarnish, um, especially with these bright brass or copper slides because they tarnish more easily. Um, and then there's some more tarnish things, and it tells her it gives you her email and contact information. 
So this was a wonderful little sheet that you can get, that you get if you order this object. Um, you can also buy individual hair slides, I believe. This is what she calls them, hair slides. Um, this thing for me is really awesome. Um, basically the only caveat is either it tarnishes easily or basically if you have thicker or longer hair than me, you might have a problem with it because I'm pretty much at max capacity with it. So um, I can do very pretty much every hair stick variation with this object. Uh, I will show you the saw bun, which is what I basically got this product for. Um, and I'll just show it to you right now. It's really easy. Now this is all well and good with the just the hair slide, but you can also use the fun decorative -y element thing. Um, and very easily, I just sort of hook it over and push it all over and down. And that's how I normally use this hair slide. So obviously for me, it's very easy to use. It's very secure. It's really comfortable for the summer. It's wonderful because I can put my hair up with no damage or trouble. Um, I spent, so basically I got this hair slide and then I went on vacation for about, a, for a few weeks. And I use this, I think, every other day, at least. Um, it worked super awesome. We were on the East Coast in this sort of like beach retreat, to use the term loosely. We were on the Chesapeake Bay, so it was more like marshy happiness than beach. Um, but there was a lot of sitting outside and the heat and the humidity and, you know, you get sweaty, so it's nice to have your hair up off your neck. And this thing is awesome because it looks decorative while it also keeps your hair off your neck. The other comment I have about it is having a tiny head makes stuff hard. This is, I believe, six inches long. That's how she advertised it. Now, I have these, like, other randomy hair stick things that I got from Sally ages and ages ago. I have, like, four of them. Two black, two tortoiseshell sort of color. They're plastic, but they're also really long. I mean, if you just compare this thing to, like, the shape of my face... It's as long as my face. So if I were to do the same fob on, I basically end up looking like I have either an antenna or it pokes into the back of my neck and I really cannot win with one of these plastic hair sticks. Um, so that is mainly why I originally got this object because I thought it would be nice to have an actually decor decorative hair stick that's not super long so I can do this bun because for me it is the best one I have personally found. I know there are a million others and some people like the Nautilus better, better other ones. But if you see here, either it's gonna poke in the back of my neck. Oh wow, I did a terrible job. It's either gonna poke in the back of my neck or if I push it up so it doesn't poke me in the neck. Yeah, I have an antenna. You can see this better if you're actually looking at me add on, but it's not very hot. So I like the um, Eliza Bella Designs hair stick slide thing much, much better. Um, now, a couple of comments on the, like, actual mean... I think the way that you're supposed to use this product is not the way that I'm using it. I'm using it basically as a hair stick substitute with a sort of cagey thing over it. Um, other people with more hair than me or who choose a smaller slide because this is the biggest size that she has. She has like a medium and a small one. I think that's about the proportional size. Um, you can use it as like a clippy barrette. My hair does not have enough hold in any way, shape or form for that to ever work. But if you do have thicker hair or more textured hair or both, then you could probably get one of those smaller ones, probably medium, and it would hold it up. Um, the other thing you can do is sort of just sort of mash your hair into a position and shove the stick in and the cage over it. Um, but I don't prefer to do that just because my hair is slippery and I need some sort of structure. But without, with all means, if you have less slippery or less fine hair than me, that should be completely possible. Um, but that being said, you know, this hair stick thing is meant for people with extremely thick hair that I got. The big one because most people are not putting this over their multiple um, hair stick buns because according uh, you know I read all the reviews on her website because I'm a complete nerd um, who needs to be informed um, so basically what 
I could divine from that was that most of the people who get these are just trying to get some sort of decorative hair barrette, which is not what I was going for. That being said, I will totally be buying a new one in silver because as you may be able to tell, the majority of the jewelry I wear is silver. Um, also, this incidentally matches my hair color very well. Don't know how that happens. So those are my thoughts on the Eliza Bella Designs um, hair slide and also on the Tangle teaser. Um, if you have any thoughts on either of these objects or plan to buy them, comment below because I'd love to hear what you think. And if you have any other things that you want me to try or make or do or requests or anything, just yeah, comment it below please. And thank you for watching and maybe subscribe. Bye.